Hi, today we'll talk about the most important part of our life journey, passive income for creatives. This is a very noisy chair. As a creative, we all know that there are months when we are very, very popular and everybody wants our services, but there are also months when it's kind of like dry. So I laid out five different passive income ideas that I either tried or going to try soon and report on that. As we all know, passive income is not money falling out of the sky, but if you are willing to spend some time on that, I'm sure you can make it work. And it's also amazing to know that your money are working for you even when you are sleeping. Isn't this exciting? I, I love it. It's like the best feeling in the world. Let's talk about the most obvious one, the easiest one to start. Passive income is stocks. And I will also share my best performers that have performed really well for me over the last couple of years. By any means, I'm not a financial advisor. So do your own research, be critical about what you hear on the internet. But from now on, let's start. You can invest in either one company like Amazon and you can invest in ETFs where it's a bunch of different companies in some sort of a niche like cloud solutions, SPA 500, 5G infrastructure, like you pick a niche, there's an ETF for that, which is considered to be less risky. There's another option for stocks. Those are dividend stocks and they bring you money every month, every quarter. They pay quarterly. Before we go into stocks that bring great growth year over year or a high yield dividend stocks, I just want to tell you my personal observation. I was using CIBC before, 1980s interface somehow in 2021, wherever. And most importantly, for every transaction you make, you pay $7. Literally last year, I paid $400 in commission just to do the transactions which are basic. So my advice to you, not to waste your money on stupid commissions and go ahead and sign up for Wealthsimple. The interface is so much easier to use. It's very easy to find stocks. And also it is commission free, which is uh, the sweetest part of it. They will also deal with your bank if you want to transfer your funds from your banks. It's very transparent, very, very easy to do. You get $10 of free money if you sign up for Wealthsimple and deposit $100. Link inscription. Now you open up your Wealth Simple account, you are on to buying some stocks, and here are my personal suggestions for the ETFs. Uh, you all know about like Vanguard or SAP 500, people talk about it and they're great, but there are ones that have more potential in just like a higher growth section of the world, like 5G is coming up and we know it will probably change the world, like 4G. And we now might think that, oh my gosh, like my internet's so fast, it's working just fine, but that's probably what we also thought when the 4G was rolling out 10 years ago. So for you not to skip on this boat, there is a Wuji, W-U-G-I, and I think that's how you say 5G in uh, China. I'm not sure which dialect actually, so I'm not gonna comment on that. The point is, this is the ETF that has uh, the most well-performing stocks that might benefit this area. For example, NVIDIA that produces chips that go into our smartphones to make our smartphone perform and be like super fast and deliver information in like milliseconds. Or Cloudflare, which helps companies with cybersecurity, et cetera, et cetera. So it is an easy way for you to dip your toe in to understand what the market can actually bring you to. And you just buy it once and you don't have to worry about it. Another great one is Sky with double Y. It's all about cloud solutions and it grown 35% since it opened up last May. And it's also like the future of our life. You know, everything is in the clouds. We are trying to store all those images and ideas and databases in the cloud. So it's Sky's biggest holding at Amazon and Alibaba. So you know those companies had like tremendous growth in the last couple of years. If you are adventurous and you feel like crypto and Bitcoin is the next new thing, if you're Canadian, you can also put your money into this crypto ETFs. They are highly volatile. So be ready, it's crypto, it's volatile. But I do know that there are dividend stocks that can pay you up to 6%, almost like 5.6, almost 6%. Let's dive in. A dividend stock is the stock that will pay you a small percentage of their profit each quarter. Usually the investors try to like jump on those higher paying dividend yields, but sometimes it does mean that the company doesn't really perform that well and it's not growing. Kind of a waste of time, you're not getting anything. It is sometimes better to go with a safer bet and maybe get a lower dividend yield versus getting a higher dividend yield. Do do your digital. Do do your digital. 
Okay. Do your research and make sure that the stocks you find are actually good companies which are worth your money. Here are my personal favorites. Brookfield Infrastructure, the ticker is BEP. This stock grew about 55% about in a year. There are quite a lot of Brookfields, so uh, make sure you're picking the right one. And Brookfield Renewables is uh, a huge company that provides renewable energy solutions. I feel like renewable energy is the new thing. And as we all becoming conscious about our surroundings, renewable energy is the only way to go. BMO pays free, 0.6% dividend yield. It's like an old lady stock, so you just dump your money in and you live off the dividend. But Brookfield also pays 6.3%, but is a higher chance that Brookfield will grow over years versus uh, something more stable like a brick and mortar bank. So here's the chair on top. 5.6% dividend yield is in TC Energy. This company is paying a higher dividend yield but they have been growing 7% year over year. So it's a stable company with a pretty high dividend yield. So I think it's also a great way for you to put your money into work. Passive income idea number two is selling digital products. You know, we all heard about it with different options, but the ones that worked for me was Etsy. I tried selling digital projects on my own website, but you have to have either a really grand following to lure those customers in, or you can put it on Etsy that works like a search engine, so it's very easy for you to get noticed by people. So I can open up my Etsy store account. I only had like 100 sales, which brought me like roughly $1,000. And it was amazing. I was so excited when I was waking up and seeing those like $10, $10, $10. And it's pretty much all of that goes to me. Just click on Etsy advertising and they will advertise for you based on your keywords. But the most important thing is to find products that do sell. If there is a demand for a product, it's a great indication that you should do it. I think it's an amazing way to have something and you are creative. And if you are a creative person and you know how to make templates or contracts that don't look ugly and actually legible, that's incredible. You can just put them on and make them available for people who do need them. One of the most successful products for me are templates that I do on Canva. So essentially, you don't even have to be a designer. You don't even have to have an Adobe subscription to make those templates. If you have more questions about how you actually make it all work, please comment below so I can do a detailed tutorial on how I did that. So it will be much easier for you to replicate the process and make some. Gosh. Selling on Kindle. I tried that Kindle hustle and I wrote a book. It's not selling really well for me. I'm going to be blank. My numbers are not amazing. I wanted to do that book regardless of sales. My cat was amazing. It was a big part of my childhood, as well as the house I was living in back in the day that was built by my dad. So as we sold the house, I kind of felt nostalgic and I wanted to share that story. And I think I went the wrong way. I just told my story without seeing what the market actually is looking or wants. So don't repeat my mistakes. Go ahead on Kindle, see what bell, see what sells the best. Come up with a story that's within that niche category, so you can supply the demand that already exists. You know, make it easy. You know, the irony is we think it has to be like hard and complicated, but it really doesn't. You don't get extra points for making it complicated. That's what I found recently. Maybe I need to work on my SEO in that particular one. But the thing is. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't work out in the first place. Try again and maybe do check the demand page. Do check those bestsellers. Print on demand. Yeah, people have been talking about t-shirts and print on demand for like a long time. And I'm going to show my numbers. Not great. I've been selling from 2018 and, you know, I don't think it's really worth it unless you have those leftover graphics that are not used for your client, by your client, and you're just like, okay, well, I have this like illustration. What am I supposed to do with it? Or you have this content that you create for your social media. You can just upload that to Society6. And if it makes money, great. If it doesn't, too bad to set. I'm not losing anything. It doesn't cost anything to upload a listing. So, you know, it's okay. And the other ones are NTFs, non-refundable tokens. Well, I did one on OpenSea and as much as I think it's great, I did not get any bets. But on the bright side, my Ethereum grew from like $100, from $100 to $179 after, and then I changed it to some like other fancy token and I think I made like a huge mistake. With the non-refundable tokens, just keep in mind that for OpenSea, for example, you have to pay to upload your listing. 
This is a very important point. I did not know that. It took me actually three days to figure it out. But that how but that how NTF market works. If you are able to sell your work, this is amazing. Once again, go to this marketplace, see what is selling, see what's in demand. Maybe you have something in your stores that kind of rep, that kind of relevant to that, but maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so those are my passive income ideas for creatives. Please let me know what you think.